So to take us with the opening prayer and exhortation is our rector, the person of Mrs. Josephine of Wafo. Let's clap for her as she comes forward. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Are you happy to be alive? I will sing one chorus for you first. When I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do you know it? Did you say thank you this morning? Can we take it together? Whenever I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It is a privilege to be alive. Do you know that some people died this morning? Do you know that some people are in the mortuary now? Do you know that some people are in the hospital now? But we are here. It is a privilege. And it is very, very necessary for us to say, God, thank you. Shall we pray? Bow your heads and pray. In Jesus' name. Eternal Father, we thank you. What a privilege to be called your own. What a privilege to see yet another day. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We are so grateful, Baba God, for giving us this privilege. We are not taking it for granted. We have come to say thank you on behalf of the schools that are here, on behalf of the families that are here, on behalf of Roloff, on behalf of Delta State, on behalf of Nigeria. We have come to say thank you for the privilege of another day. We ask, sweet Holy Spirit, that you go ahead of us. Even as you have gone ahead of us since morning, you brought us here safely from our different home. You gave us free ride. You gave us journey mercy. You gave us sound health. You gave us everything that you need, that we would need to make this day beautiful. We have come to say thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit this meeting, Lord, into your able hands. Lord, we are here to sow a seed. We know you gave, you gave us one tr a tree that has fruit. Inside one fruit and an orange, for instance, there are so many seeds. And as many seeds that will plant, oh Lord, it will multiply and multiply and multiply beyond our imagination. Father, the seed we want to plant into the souls of these children, into the intelligence of these children, may it yield multitude. May it pattern their lives. May it make them better. May it make them to find their place in life. May it make their destiny to be, not to be truncated. They will fulfill destiny. They will bring joy to themselves. They will bring joy to their parents. They will bring joy to the nation and the world at last. Above all, they will bring pleasure to you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Share man this occasion, Lord, and let your name be glorified. For we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm also giving the privilege to give you a little exhortation in less than 10 minutes. How many of us, how many of us, if you are born of a woman, if you have, you have a father and a mother, put up your hand. Yes. Even if they did IVF, they still took the egg from somebody. Put down your hand. And somebody still carried it. I just want to exhort you. At a time like this, in this generation that we are, the time is winding fast. End time is winding fast. Jesus has told us that he is coming soon. And that we will have many signs. Many things will happen before he comes. There will be wars and rumors of wars. There will be earthquake. 
So many things will happen. We have we heard of Sodom and Gomorrah before. Sodomy, gay, men marry men, women marry women, dogs marry human beings. The, the evil in this our generation has surpassed the evil of Sodom and Gomorrah. So if God fails to judge us, he will be unfair. And God is a it's God. But in, in the midst of judgment, he has mercy. He will be merciful to those who want his mercy. So this morning, I want to admonish you. Exodus chapter 20, verse 12 says, Honor thy father and thy mother, so that thy days may be long. That is the only commandment that has condition and has blessing attached to it. It's not only our biological mother and our biological father that we should honor. For instance, our teachers, our elders, when we have respect for them, it means we want to live long. This is a generation that have no honor to elders. This is a generation that beat up their parents. This is a generation that even sell their parents to make money. But I am sowing a seed in your life today that you will not belong to them. You will be with them. You are in the world, but you will not behave like them in Jesus' name. You will be different. The seed of God is in you. The fear of God will envelop you. The wisdom that you need will come upon you. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, it says this book of the law should not depart from you. The Bible, I know some, most of us go to church. We, go, we attend Sunday school. But the Bible says, when you study the word, when you read the word, when you meditate on it, it will cause you to fear God. It will cause you to obey because the word of God is mirror. When you look into the mirror, you will see if your hair is not well made, you will adjust yourself. I admonish you this morning, beautiful children of God, fear God. Honor thy parents. Do not compromise with the things of this world so that you will have great, good success in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, your word has gone forth. It cannot return to you void. Into the innocent souls it has entered. May it germinate. May it grow. May it bear fruit. Good fruit that will be beneficial to them. That will be beneficial to their parents. That will be beneficial to the nation. And all the glory will be yours. For we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> no. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. How many of you are happy to be here? Do you know why you are here? Eh? You know? Do you know? Do you know? Okay. We are here to put something inside of you. You can put down your hand. We are here to sow a seed in your life. Did you pay any money for coming? No. In your school? No. Did you pay money to roll off? No. Uh -huh. This one we are doing is for free. Oh. We just want to sensitize you. We, we didn't charge. Uh, this is free. We want you to come so that we can impart your life. God has blessed us we may not be the richest around, but God has blessed us, and we don't want you to remain ignorant. That is why we took time. We had invited people before. It was not conducive, the timing. So we decided to shift it. Even as at that, 
We didn't know public holiday will fall today. But to the glory of God, look at all of you. It gives me joy to see you. It gives me great joy to see you, that you are here. There is something God wants to do in your life. I don't want you to be distracted. Teachers, guardians, parents, I want to say a very big thank you for taking time, even in this weather, to bring them. I pray that your reward will not elude you in Jesus' name. You will not live here. And as you are sowing, teachers are sowing to the lives of the children. So your own children, when they go anywhere, God will, for your sake, make provision for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Can we clap for Mommy Roloff? <laughs> Have we been blessed at all? Did we learn anything from what she taught us? If you learned something, can I see your hands up? Okay, quickly, can you tell me one thing that you learned? That's how we know you learned something. Yes, you. Can we clap for him? To thank God every day of our lives. No matter what you're going through, what you need to do is thank God. Let's clap for Mommy Roloff again. All right, without wasting much time, we are going to go quickly to the next program on the agenda, which is opening speech by the CEO of Roll of Computers, Roll of Computer Academy, the person of Mr. Lucky of Wafo. We call him Daddy Roll of. Let's put our hands together for Daddy Roll of as he comes up. Put your hands together! Good morning. Good morning, parents, teachers, and learners. You are welcome to the 10th uh, event of this uh, STEAM education for pupils, teachers, and parents. This is the 10th year we're organizing this program, and every year we have been improving on what we have been doing. So I will take you maybe the next 10 minutes to <coughs> through our slides. As you already know, my name is uh, Lucky Ofwafo, and we are here to take you through the importance and the need for you to embrace STEAM education. And this year, we've titled it Beyond the Classroom. Beyond the Classroom. Hello. Can you give me attention, please? Hmm? Beyond the classroom. So for the Beyond the Classroom, we have other programs that we are doing. This is not my slide. Here. This is not my slide. Sorry, you are showing me the wrong slide. Let me use the other slide. Why they are getting the correct slide? Let me take it from here. So I start with a quotation by Leonard da Vinci. Leonard da Vinci said that the, to develop a complete mind, study
we bring them up by teaching them how to play games. Because imagine a three-year-old, two-year-old child knowing how to mo use the mobile phone. Why did a two-year-old child in our house in those days, if you lock your phone, no matter what you use to lock the phone, give the phone to the child, he will open it, he will bypass all the locking that you did. He didn't learn it from anywhere. So we, 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 these children have this intelligence, they have the skills, and they have the future. Ours is to make them to be inventors, to be creators, to be entrepreneurs. And that is what we are supposed to do. So it means that we have to produce them to be critical thinkers, problem solvers, develop them to have practical skills and also to have soft skills. Time will not uh, uh, permit me to explain what soft skills are. But the children have to be developed from the age of three. We have programs for three to four years, which we are not running here, but STEAM education takes into confidence that the children from three to four years should, be em should embrace STEAM. But what we are doing here, we are taking the category of primary schools, which is, we are using uh, six to se okay, seven, we are using seven to 11 years for the primary level at our own uh, program here. And then from 12, to 17. That's at the secondary school level. But we, those are the ones we can accommodate because we cannot take care of the small ones that are still uh, uh, running, up, running about. But STEAM education actually starts from that age. Please don't mind the screen because it looks like we have some technical, technical issues, but it's not moving. Let me go back to my phone. How to run a little bit faster so that we can, we can, we can progress. So what we have, what we are introducing to you are things that have to do with robotics, drone making, uh, renewable energy, uh, transportation, uh, internet of things. Skill acquisition. There's somebody that's coming to, come to tell you about skill acquisition. And those are come, some of the things that were, uh, including photography. And in producing photography, we have done it for the past, since 2019, with Canon Academy. That's why you see their banners all over the place. Canon Academy is the one that are training the children from Dubai during the boot camp, during our boot camp. They train our workers, and the workers then in turn train the students. Not that they train the students, they help the students to operate the cameras while the training comes from Dubai. That one is free. This year, Canon Academy also added a program for parents of the children. When the children come, the parents will come one day to also be trained on photography and then they will now interact. But we, they've given us some criteria for selecting the students. Not everybody that comes for the program will be admitted by Canon Academy. Their criteria means that you have to show interest in photography. And for those of them that cannot be accommodated, we decided to introduce skill acquisition for them during the period so that they can, they will not be idle. So that is why we have a lot of Canon products. We have a stand there for Canon. Uh, where we, we are selling their products, we are selling their printers, we are selling their, their computers, I mean, sorry, uh, cameras, digital cameras, and so on and so forth. But going beyond that, our staff will come and tell you more about the STEAM program that we, pro we have and every other thing that we are going to learn this period. So you are welcome to this occasion. We are sorry for the interruptions that are going on. Please bear with us. You will, uh, you will, you, when you get to the practical section, you will enjoy it. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you, sir.
Can we clap for that? You roll off again. Thank you very much. Next on our program is about Roll Off Computer Academy Worry. And to take us on this program is one of our staff, Miss Ozo Sarah. Let's clap for Miss Ozo Sarah. She comes to tell us about Roll Off Computer Academy. Please listen attentively. I've heard some of us asking, what do they do here? What do they do here? You will know what we do here through Miss Sarah Ozo. Let's clap for her again as she comes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good. Hope you are happy. Hope you are very happy. Okay. So I want to ask one question. How many of you know about Roll Off Computer Academy before coming here? If you know you've heard about Roll Off Computer Academy before coming here, let me see your hands. Just few of you. So that means majority of you doesn't know about Roll Off Computer Academy, right? Okay, so I'm going to tell you more about Roloff Computer Academy, the things we do here at Roloff Computer Academy. Okay, Roloff Computer Academy is an ICT what institution. Roloff Computer is an ICT institution, and Roloff Computer Academy is licensed by National Board for Technical Education, which is what NBT, and we are also approved by JAM to run this NID program, National Innovation Diploma under IEI. So this program is a degree program for two years. So with this two years um, program, you can gain admission into university. You can gain admission, direct entry into university, and you can also gain um, admission into Asia in the National Innovation Diploma. All right, my slide is here, so sorry for that. Okay, like I said earlier on, Roloff Computer Academy is a tertiary institution that is licensed by the National Board for Technical Education, NBTE, Kaduna, as an innovation enterprise institution. And Roloff Computer Academy is also licensed by the Data States Ministry of Aya Education, Asaba. And we are also listed on Jam Broke Show. That means on the Jam Broke Show, you are going to see Roloff Computer Academy there on uh, NID, National Innovation Diploma under IEI, Innovation Enterprising Institution. And we also run this uh, certificate program from one month to four months. Now we also run five week um, summer uh, boot camp for kids for five to seven years on artificial intelligence, robotic, drone making and flying, and photography. We are, I'm going to expand more on that later on. And we also have uh, corporate bodies, just like what mommy said when she was giving her education. She said that, did you people pay before coming here? No. So this OBEF was funded by Roloff Computer Academy to offer free seminars for students, primary six, GSS3, and what, SS3 students for this uh, free seminar program that we are running here right now. So, you know I told you that we run a degree program. So why is this program, we run National Innovation Diploma here in Roloff Computer Academy. So why is Roloff Computer Academy a tertiary institution of first choice? Why is it why must you pick us as first choice? Like those people that just finished their SS3, they wrote their jam, written their jam, and they want to forge ahead to schools, higher institutions. You can also select us as what? Your first choice of institution. So the reason you can pick us as first choice of institution, because Rule of Computer Academy is listed on Jam Brookshire. That means you can see us on Jam Brookshire under IEI Innovation Enterprise Institution. 
And we are also among the institution, the few institution that sells computer accessory and so earn. And what we give here in this NID program is practical skills, more of practical skills, and 30% of what theory. This is what we do at Roloff Computer Academy. We give you those practical skills for you to know how to make use of what you came here for. If you are practicing this, if you are coming to learn this, you make sure that anywhere, anywhere you go to, you can actually come and boldly and tell yourself that I can do this based on the practical skills we've given to you. So in this NID program, what are the courses? What are the program we run here? The courses we run here at Roloff Computer Academy. We have the computer hardware engineering. You know I told you, Roloff Computer Academy is an ICT institution. We have computer hardware engineering. We have computer software engineering. We have multimedia technology and networking and system security. So these are the four courses we offer here at Roloff Computer Academy on our NID World program. So right here, okay, so what are the qualifications of this NID program? For you to get entry into this NID program, these are the requirements. These are your qualifications. You need your WIAC results, you need your NECO results, your NAPTEC, and JAM results. So you must have this um, certificate ready for you to get admission into what? Roloff Computer Academy. And also, this program, we also issued awards to students. We also issued uh, awards and scholarship to students that want to come maybe based on needs and uh, based on needs. Maybe you want to study, you don't have that uh, money to come and do something. We are running, this program is award uh, uh, program. We can give you this uh, scholarship award to run this program. But before you can get this scholarship award, this thing is required. You must be a candidate that is seeking for admission into Roloff Computer Academy, and you must have your five O level results ready for this uh, uh, admission. And you must also submit the application form given to you to fill for this uh, program, if you want to run this program. So, okay. So, Roloff Computer Academy is here for you anytime, any day. And also, what I just said now is basically on our NID program, National Innovation Diploma. Now, we also have the summer boot camp, which is already on. We have the one for three months, and we also have the one for five weeks that will be commencing 31st of July this, uh, particular, this year. So this three months program is running, especially for students for primary six, GSS3, and SS3. So some of them are here right now, they are participating on the program we are running. Why the five months program, the five week program is for this uh, summer boot camp. Here we'll do the robotics, drone making, and so on. Photography, like he said, like what my boss said, he said that this photography is a free, is a bonus program from Kano. So that we teach you how to learn, make use of your camera, know how to handle your camera. With that, you get enough skills to make yourself, give yourself a job with the skills you've acquired, with the skills you've achieved. You can actually gain employment for yourself, and with that, you can earn money. So these are the basically things we do here at Roloff Computer Academy. And we also sell computers accessory as well. So in case you want to get computers, maybe your friend, your parents, your mom wants to buy you a laptop or anything, you can come to Roloff Computer Academy to get that gadget that you want for yourself or for your friends. So I don't want you to stay at home during this holiday. You will still write finish your exam. I don't want you to stay at home. I want you to disturb your mom, your dad, even though it's a one month holiday, disturb your mom and your dad that I want to come from this uh, summer boot camp holiday. And you are going to enjoy every bit of what is going to happen here. And you are going to see, you will see some demonstration that will be taking place in, in a few minutes time. So thank you for coming and God bless you. Thank you very much.
everyone. I thought the clap would be louder than that. <laughs> louder, 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 louder. Yes, thank you. Now you know about Roloff Computer Academy. So it's no news that Roloff Computer Academy is the place to be when it talks, comes to ICT and ICT products. Can you put your hands together for Roloff Computer Academy? Okay, now one of the theme of the program, who can tell me the theme of this workshop? Yes. Tell us your name. My name is Ijiro Jeremiah. I am from Health and Health. The theme of the workshop is um, Beyond the Classroom. Yes, can we clap for him? Beyond the Classroom which means we are going to learn a lot of things that we don't do in our classrooms in our different schools, right? Okay, that's why we are here. So one of the reasons why we are here is to learn about that. Now, before we go over to that, there's a program my colleague talked about, boot camp, boot camp, boot camp. I want one of our colleagues here, in person of Miss Guafordum Lydia, to tell us more about the boot camp. I know you'll be excited by the time she gives us a breakdown about the program. Can we clap for Miss Guafam Doom as she comes forth? Let's clap for her. Uh, clap for her. Uh, is your hands spinning you? Thank you. Good morning, all. Good morning, all. Are we all excited? Are you sure you are? Okay, so we're going to do a little exercise because I think you are tired of sitting. So what will happen? Let's stand. Mm? Let's move around. Mm? Just move around a bit away from your seat. A bit away from your seat. Stretch your muscles, okay? Your legs, your hands, okay? Are we good to go now? All right. Thank you very much. You can sit. Okay. As my colleague said earlier, I'm Lydia Guafodum, and uh, I would be talking about our summer programs. But first of all, I would like to appreciate each and every one of you from various schools, the teachers, the parents that are here, and our own students. We are so glad that you are able to make it to our workshop beyond the classroom. Thank you very much. And with that, I would like you to clap for yourself. Please clap for yourselves. You are all wonderfully and fearfully made by God. Okay, let's go there. Now, outside this workshop, are we together? Outside this workshop, we have our ongoing programs. Hello, audience. Are we together? I want us to flow. Do you understand? So we have our um, own program, the summer programs. So in these summer programs, we have two categories of programs. We have two categories of programs. We have the summer computer skills, and we also have the summer boot camp. Now, the summer computer skills started since this June, and it will run through June to September. And uh, if I would, I would be glad to introduce to you some of our students. So please, if you know you are among our students in this ongoing uh, summer computer skills, please, can you be on your feet? Don't be shy, please. If you are among our summer computer skills students, please, can you be on your feet? I can see some person seated, though. Okay. Now, these are our students that are part of uh, the first phase of our program, summer computer skills. Some of them are running our office programs. Some of them are running photography courses. And some of them are running web design program. Imagine you developing a website at this early age. Please, can all of you sit down? Thank you very much. 
Now, I would like you to see our developers, young developers. So please, if you are learning web design program, please, can you be up? Please be standing if you are learning web design program. So these young guys and ladies here, they want to develop a website for their parents, for their self. They want to submit proposals to companies that are telling them, I can do this. I can actually create a website, a lovely website, creative and innovative. So please clap your hands for them. They are wonderful. Please, you can be seated. Then um, we also have the ones that are learning office with graphics. They are amazing kids, so because imagine them doing this kind of a design beyond this, design on T-shirts and so much. So I don't know it into the time. Now, the second phase of program has to do with the summer boot camp. In this summer boot camp, there are a lot of amazing programs here. Now, the program starts 31st of July. It runs through um, 1st of uh, September. Now, we have eight categories. We have the uh, ages uh, 7 to 11 for juniors. We have ages uh, 12 to 17 for the seniors. Now, for the summer uh, boot camp program, in the program, you'll be learning a lot. You learn office programs, you learn web design, you learn animation, you learn robotics. Imagine you're creating your own robot. You program your own robot. Function in its own way, the way you want it to function. Is that not amazing? Is it amazing or not? Okay. Now, you are making your own drone. You want to make your own drone. You want it to fly. Fly up. Move the way you want it to move. Is that not good? Now, it's a good thing to buy a robot. It's not another good thing for you to create your own robot and fly it yourself. That is why we came up with this workshop. We wanted to see how amazing it is for you to have your own drone, have your own robot made by you, tagged so, so, and so. Did you understand? All right. As I earlier said, we have two categories of program. These are the flyers, summer computer skills, and summer boot camp. Now, for this year program, there is a touch. Previously, we usually have Canon program for only kids. Canon academic program for only kids. But this year, we want your parents to be involved. So as far as you are our student, you are among those who are running the summer boot camp program. Your parents have a program for themselves. It's free. It's not only kids that will handle cameras. Parents will handle cameras too, am I right? So while they are doing it, they are guiding you. And you too, you are guiding them, telling mommy, I can do it. And mommy will tell you too, I can also do it. Is that right? Now, the seminar comes up for, for parents. The date is uh, on the 24th of August for that of uh, parents. Imagine you being our student and your mom and dad, they are here to run, to, to handle camera, to know how it functions, to know how it works, to know how to set it and how to use it. That is great. So in here are some of our students, previous years, that have been here for our programs. Those that are programming, those that are learning uh, uh, um, how to design, those are learning office uh, packages, and lots more. Is that not amazing? Now, if you can see these images, you can see some kids doing animation, doing a, a scratch program, doing their graphics, creating a robot. Can you see the, can you see the, uh, the robots they are making? They are making a car. And they are coding it, they code it to function in a certain way. Is that not a good thing? Can you see the images? So do you want to be part of this? So please tell it to mommy and daddy. So these are summer, previous summer academic, uh, um, summer canon academic classes. Here are some of our students. You can see them, how they are handling the cameras. Imagine a child as young as this, handling a, a camera. It's a good thing. And it's, it's very good for you to start very young, so that by the time you are at a certain age, you are good to go. Am I right? So these are amazing kids. Some of our kids, the kids that came for the program, the summer uh, canon program, and they all did very well. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Miss Kwafambu. I haven't known about the summer CS and AI boot camp. How many of us will be here? By July 31st, do you want to come and enroll for the summer boot camp program? Can I see your hands? You don't want to create a drone. How many of us knows what a drone is? Who can tell us? Okay. A drone is something that can fly. It has a lot of lasers. A drone is something that can fly and it has lasers. Yes, he has an idea. Clap for him. That's his own word to describe a drone. Who else can tell us what a drone is? Uh, let me call someone from this way. Okay. Yes, please remember to tell us your name. And the school I am is lead school.
together. At first, when I was in school, when I was growing up, they asked me, my dad asked me, which department do you want to go to? He said, would you go to arts? I said, what do I want to do in arts? Will you go to commercial? I said, what do I want to do in commercial? He said, okay, go to science and become a doctor. I said, daddy, I don't like reading. What I love was tech. I love tech so much to the essay. I said, okay. It was because of that tech I went to science class. And later, when I was in school, I taught 